if you go to a school, it's, I don't think it's just about being taught. Like, you need to feel like you're valued at the school. And I feel like at Estelle, everyone's valued the same. I think people should fight to keep it going because it's a good school and all this has gone towards it and people work hard for the school, so I don't see why people shouldn't fight for it. I would feel really upset because I do have a younger sister and I would have really liked her to come here and see how much I love Estelle. And I think it's a shame because Estelle's a really good school and um, I think many other people need to enjoy it because I really do. Um, I think it's very unfair because the council said we had a choice when we came here. Welcome to the Metropole Ballroom. We have rolled out the red carpet for tonight's screening. I am, as ever, amazed at how many of you have turned up tonight. Once again, showing the depth of feeling for Estelle, a place seemingly somewhere only we know. We'll be signing autographs in the lobby afterwards. I'm his agent, it's five pounds a time. This here is Courtney, you might have seen her singing in the video. Courtney, ladies and gentlemen, yes. And this fella here, Alistair Griffin, aged 11 and a half. Before the world was, well, when the world was a simpler place. Um, you may have seen this picture on Facebook. Uh, to my mum, what the hell were you thinking, cutting my hair like that? Ball number four, if I'm not much mistaken. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap things up shortly. But I must say, thank you to a man who is who's walking towards me now. No, no. To make the video, uh, actually, was quite a brave decision by the school. They didn't know what the hell was going to happen with me walking in the camera and recording. But Mr. Blur here, um, I ran him ragged, frankly, for three days. He was a changed man by the end. Um, but uh, he, the, the school were incredibly flexible. Um, they were very amenable to all we asked them to do. We were flying drones around and had some more children running with flags and all kinds of demands. So thank you, Mr. Blur, and thank you to the head teacher, Sue Whelan, as well. Who allows in the school. Thank you. As you know, I can't resist the temptation to get on the stage and stay stuff, so uh, <laughs> I was trying to hold myself back and then I escaped Mrs. Palby and she uh, anyway. Um, I'd just like on behalf of the teachers really to thank Alice for everything he's done. As you can imagine. At the moment, we're feeling quite low because what we stand for, what we believe in, and what we work for is under threat. And to have somebody come in and take our side and, and, and do what he's done for us, and uh, that absolutely amazing video, it's just, oh, words can't be better, thanks to it. It's really, really, really grateful. And I think it puts everything very succinctly what we stand for, and I think it's done a huge amount, and will do a huge amount for our campaign. I can't imagine that people can ignore that. I really do. So thank you. Thank you so much.
number